Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode and congratulations to every Bitcoin and Ethereum hodler and especially for every Dogecoin hodler because today everything is again going completely crazy. We have Dogecoin going completely nuts here. And of course, also for Bitcoin and Ethereum, we have a new all time high. So congratulations to everyone. And today is not just a new all time high day, but it's also the big day of the Coinbase IPO. So yes, guys, I will be buying some uh, of those Coinbase uh, shares. I know that most likely would be better to just buy Bitcoin with that money to just put it in Bitcoin. But I just want to be part of day one when Coinbase is going live here with their own stock. And most likely it's going to be priced at around $250. And remember that the Coinbase shares were already traded privately here in the last couple of weeks and months. Right now we don't have any more data. They have removed that. And uh, the last time I checked it was at around $600 or $500, something like that. So I think $250 is not bad. And even though it could crash, because I think it's better to wait for nice corrections to buy in. Um, but I just want to be part of day one. And for me personally, it's like I would have bought Apple stocks or Microsoft stocks in day one and that's why I just want to be part of it and that's why I gonna uh, buy some of those uh, Coinbase shares for the long term. So I'm not planning just to uh, play around with it. I'm not buying it to then hopefully sell it tomorrow at a double. I'm just gonna keep it for a long term same like Bitcoin because um, I just like to have it in my portfolio as well and that's why I just gonna uh, put in a market order as soon as they are going live. So if some of you are also buying in in day one, let me know in the comment section. I think uh, today we are about to write history, my friends. And uh, now let's start with our TA for Bitcoin uh, first, because um, actually on this chart we have some data problems. Uh, apparently Bitstamp is on maintenance, so let's switch over to the index. Yeah, here we have real time data. All right, so in the four hour time frame, we got here a sell signal. Um, but of course, we are about to go higher, my friend. So uh, if we are getting some sell signals here in the lower time frames, because here on uh, on Discord with my own indicator, we are trading the three hour time frame. So this uh, gave us a sell signal up here. And usually during an uptrend, especially if we are an uptrend uh, above the EMA ribbons, these only signals that we most likely are coming down uh, towards important supports like the bottom of the EMA ribbons right here at around 61 to 62K. So I think it's very likely that right now we could see here a pullback down towards the nine moving average in the four hour time frame here at 63K, maybe even drop down to retest the main support here at around 62K, where also in the next coming hours, the 20 moving average will be here in the four hour time frame. So everything is still looking like that we're just getting here a small pullback because we were quite overbought here in the four hour, ex extremely overbought in the RSI and the money flow is still positive. So everything is still okay. And here I'm just expecting this little pullback down to the support and then of course continue to go higher. And also if we go over into the daily time frame here, you can also see again the logarithmic uh, growth curves. And as long as we are not touching here the top of this red zone, which is at around 105k, I'm not going to take any profits. And of course, also, I'm not thinking about uh, um, a bigger correction until we're going to reach at least this red zone here. I think there is even a high chance that we could overshoot it to the upside. But uh, as long as we're not within this red zone, I'm not going to take profits, even though there is still the chance that maybe we could come back down again to retest the 30 or 40k area. But it's not worth the risk uh, to sell right now and then hopefully uh, be able to buy in cheaper. I still think that we have a lot of room left to the upside, especially after this big consolidation phase here, because the breakout target is right here at the beginning of this red zone. And um, the interesting thing is that right now we are approaching this logarithmic uh, 
line here which in the past in 2013 was the local top before a major correction and then we started for our big parabolic rise up towards the, the top of the red zone of these logarithmic growth curves. So it's going to be very interesting what will happen once we are touching again this logarithmic growth curve here currently at around 68k. So I think if we're able to go higher than 68k, the chances are very likely that we're gonna go straight up here towards the red zone, which is starting here at 80k. And we are not going to have a bigger correction like in 2013 here at this uh, same line here, which is right now at 68k. So I think here at 68, it's going to be a very interesting uh, point. Let's see what will happen. Um, if here we are able to push higher, then I think we are going straight towards 80k and most likely also towards 105k to maybe have here a blow off top, then maybe have a bigger correction uh, during the summer or something like that. And then towards autumn, winter, we are starting again our par parabolic moves towards uh, levels away above 100k. So. In my opinion, if we are reaching this 100k within April or May, that might be a good opportunity at least to take maybe 10 to 20% off in profits just to be able, if we are entering into a summer bear market, to be able to buy the dip if something like that is going to happen. And also, of course, if we are starting to overshoot 100k and go towards two or three hundred thousand dollars that you also have enough Bitcoin already accumulated. So the daily time frame is looking like that we're gonna see continuation to the upside, even though we are a bit exhausted also here in the daily. But when Bitcoin is starting to go completely parabolic to the upside, my friends, uh, then usually these indicators here are just signaling the direction and not that we are about to have a bigger correction or anything like that. I would um, give more significance right now that we are approaching this red zone up here between 80 to 100k that we also have this successful breakout to the upside from this big consolidation phase here which now in theory should be acting as a very very strong support here at 62k and we shouldn't go lower anytime soon otherwise this could lead into a massive correction down again into this yellow zone where the bottom is exactly here where also the 200 daily moving average is lining up here at 33k and the top here at around 51k so this would be my opinion the worst case scenario if here we just had a fake out but uh, if today we are not dropping uh, below 62k we are confirming this new support in the lower time frames and also in the daily time frame as a new support and therefore we should then have a big bounce to the upside and uh, go towards our bullish targets so in this red zone here between 80 to 100k and that's why i also think that the most of the altcoins will profit a lot from this potential big move that bitcoin is about to do and uh, probably also the coinbase stock in my opinion at least here until bitcoin uh, is reaching here a local uh, top or maybe even a cycle top so i'm also pretty bullish for this for the coinbase uh, stock just because of the bitcoin uh, price and um, the big parabolic moves that we are about to do in my opinion because also don't forget in the weekly time frame we are looking extremely bullish and this is still not looking like a blow of top or anything like that this consolidation phase here is extremely bullish and i think that the target is here at least to reach this red zone up here at around 105k and maybe we are even able to overshoot it but here at this price point here at around 100k i just want to take 10 to 20 percent profits off wherever the price is going afterwards because Sometimes it's also good to realize some profits, my friends, and buy anything you want. Of course, I also have some bills to pay here. So that's why it's never bad to also realize a little bit of profits, even though um, the chances are very high that we are going to overshoot this price target. But at the same time, you will be also able to buy back in cheaper if we are getting like a major correction or anything like that. And in the weekly time frame, we also are about to get a buy signal here. So everything is still pointing out that we will go way higher than the prices that we're seeing right now. And also keep in mind that in the stochastic RSI, we had here this bullish cross and we're still here at the bottom. So in theory, we still have a lot of room left to the upside. 
and even the Bollinger Bands here are telling us that we still have a lot of room left to, do, to the upside. We could even reach here 70k and we are still within the Bollinger Bands um, without even overshoot it like we also did here in the past. But of course, to have an explosive move to the upside, we need to overshoot the Bollinger Bands here. So as soon as we are going above $72,000 and start to close weekly candles above, um, this will bring us into a very, very parabolic uh, phase uh, to the upside, similar like we had here once we broke uh, 10K and also uh, after the last time we got here a bullish cross in the stochastic RSI after the halving so everything is pointing out that we are going to see completely new parabolic moves to the upside my friends and most likely i have to congratulate you every day for a new all-time high so be prepared for that and uh, we can also go over to ethereum right now because ethereum is also creating new all-time highs thankfully i am still mining since 2017 so i have already a nice ethereum portfolio but of course it's also way more fun to mine right now some ethereum because we are extremely profitable for now so let's hope that ethereum is also going to make uh, explosive moves to the upside so once we are reaching our breakout target here of around two thousand five hundred dollars if we are able to consolidate above the next potential target is up here the 2.618 fibonacci extension level at around three thousand three hundred dollars so once we are reaching these new all-time highs my friends we have no idea where the price could go and the fibonacci extensions are the only price levels where we might head to or where we maybe could face some resistance or supports so no one can predict where we are going next but what we can do of course is do these extension levels and then of course check what will happen there and also if they are legit because if we're able to create support above these two thousand five hundred dollars and then also go up here to three thousand three hundred dollars and there maybe get rejected and then we're going to see another retest of this fibonacci extension then we can start to do some ta based on that but until then we are just creating new all-time highs and we're gonna see new blue sky breakouts day by day until we are starting to consolidate again and this will be then a new price discovery range for ethereum as well same like on bitcoin so as long as bitcoin is pumping i'm very bullish for ethereum and of course also for all the other altcoins because while bitcoin is pumping the bitcoin dominance is also still falling and that of course is very much in favor for the altcoins and that's why i think that ethereum and also some other altcoins will Will start to explode very very soon we already have seen some altcoins going completely parabolic like for example overnight dogecoin and something like this in my opinion we also gonna see very very soon also for the top coiners like ethereum maybe also some coins from the DeFi space like chain link band protocol and so on so I'm pretty bullish also for the altcoins my friends but keep in mind that trading with altcoins, in my opinion, is only good to try to multiply your Bitcoin portfolio. So my goal with those altcoins is always to accumulate like that more Bitcoin and not to buy as many altcoins as possible to hold it then forever. So when I'm talking about that altcoins could really outperform Bitcoin or see massive pumps, I only mean that for the short to mid term, because if Bitcoin is starting to correct the altcoins will correct even more so that's why when you are in profits make sure that you realize that profits into bitcoin or some stable coins because sooner or later as soon as bitcoin is starting a major correction the altcoins will correct even more than bitcoin and then you definitely want to be out of all of your altcoins and be in stable coins or in bitcoin so only buy and huddle some altcoins in order to flip them back into Bitcoin once you're sitting in huge profits. And the best time, of course, to do that is while the Bitcoin dominance is dropping. And this is what we're seeing right now. The only thing is that currently we are touching here this potential support level here at around 54, 55 percent so here i'm expecting a bounce also because we are completely oversold here in my own indicator and you can see that we have here in the daily time frame a bullish divergence so we have a higher low in the rsi 
and in the price we have a lower low so that is a bullish divergence and we should expect here a bounce to the upside to potentially go up here to retest here this 58 to 60 percent level but if here we are getting rejected again we most likely gonna fall again down towards 54 percent and maybe even go lower towards the next potential support which is here at around 50 percent so if here we are seeing a bounce to the upside I think the show will be over on a Bitcoin that we're gonna see the big move of Bitcoin towards 70k and higher and afterwards maybe we're gonna decline again here in the Bitcoin dominance and then we're gonna see all the other altcoins uh, catching up with the Bitcoin price so that would be then the good time to maybe flip some Bitcoin into some altcoins if here we're getting rejected again and if Bitcoin is making the first move and outperform all the other altcoins then afterwards I think it will be a good idea to flip into some altcoins to then of course if the dominance is falling again to accumulate again more Bitcoin with those profits. So this is just my theory and what I most likely gonna do if Bitcoin now will lead here into the next big pump and also if the Bitcoin dominance is starting to increase again. And uh, now we can also have a look into the DXY because the DXY is still falling. As you can see, we are dropping below the 200 daily moving average. We got this now as a resistance. And I also told you in yesterday's video that most likely this is now the new resistance and we should face here continuation to the downside, at least down towards the 50 or 100 daily moving average here between $91 and $91.60. And if this one is getting lost, the next support is down here at around 90 dollars and that is very much in favor for the crypto and stock market when the dxy is falling and that's why i'm expecting continuation to the upside for both markets and the good thing about nasdaq here is that we are creating right now new all-time highs my friends so the double top formation in my opinion is denied for now and we are looking extremely bullish same like over on bitcoin here above the, this new new all-time high so nasdaq right now is above thirteen thousand nine hundred dollars and if today we are not dropping below this potential new support here at thirteen thousand nine hundred dollars then also here on nasdaq in my opinion we will go to way higher levels and this is not only very much in favor for the crypto market but also for the coinbase ipo if on the same day nasdaq is pumping like crazy so also here for the stock market, especially here for Nasdaq, I'm very bullish also since the DXY is falling again. We are a bit overbought here, but uh, as I told you, my friends, we can stay in this overbought region for a very long time when we are about to go completely parabolic and especially when we are in price discovery area so that means that no one can tell you where we most likely gonna top out here or where maybe we're gonna see another rejection or get a blow off top the only thing that we can do is when we are getting here a sell signal or we consolidate and create support somewhere to then go long or buy more because as long as we are creating new supports and new consolidation phases same like we had here over on bitcoin in the last couple of days and weeks the chances are very very high that we're gonna go to way higher levels and even though some indicators are telling us that we are overbought that we most likely gonna continue to pump here until we are reaching really extreme high levels both in the crypto and also in the stock market and i think that we are more about to enter in a complete parabolic phase towards levels that we still cannot imagine for now not only because we are looking extremely bullish in all time frames but also because the people are slowly understanding that this fraudulent money system that we have and with all this money printing that is going on right now people have to flee in some assets in order to save their buying power so everyone that has a lot of cash on the sideline they will have to buy into some cryptocurrencies or also into some stocks in order to not lose money day by day because if you are keeping just cash in your account you are losing money without doing anything and it looks like that a lot of people slowly are realizing that and it's getting more serious day by day and that's why if you're buying into some assets especially into bitcoin don't think about the short or mid term think for the long term if you have bought bitcoin only five years ago 
you could now quit your job and have a relaxed life. And the same thing goes if you're buying Bitcoin right now here at 60k in five years. You will look back and be grateful that you took that decision to buy Bitcoin at 60k and never again touched it for five years. Because who knows where we will be in five years and also what kind of monetary system that we will have in five years. No one knows. But the fact is that Bitcoin five or 10 years ago was exactly the same like we have today. So Bitcoin didn't change anything. It's still the same coin like we had 10 years ago. But right now it's worth 64K just because of the fraudulent monetary system that we have. And of course, also due to the huge money printing that is going on right now. So as long as we're not having a better monetary system and money printing is going on and on, you can be sure that the Bitcoin price will also continue to go higher and higher on and on. Of course, with some pullbacks, but at the end we will recover and we will go to way higher levels, no matter what the people are telling you or whatever of restrictions we're gonna have in the future, because there will be always people that are trying to make you sell your Bitcoin in order that they can then buy your Bitcoin. So never go and panic sell because of what other people, institutions or countries are telling you. Because Bitcoin is anyway the only asset in the world that is completely unconfiscatable. No one can take it away from you. You just have to keep your private keys in your head and like this no one can ever take it away from you whatever happens in the future. So with that said guys, we're gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and also check out all my referral links down below here because with those links you will get extra money if you sign up for example to Bybit or Femex where you can trade Bitcoin, Ethereum and other altcoins up to 100x leverage. So definitely go and sign up to Bybit and Femex. Those exchanges are also the ones that I'm using. And if you want to try out the unique co-vesting feature that we have on Prime XPT, then sign up with my links. I will also make some giveaways for Prime XPT over on my Discord channel. So make sure that you also have joined my Discord trading chat. We have a very great and nice community over here. So make sure that you're joining this free trading chat over on Discord with the link down below here. Once you have clicked on that link, you just go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot. Then you have free access. And if you also want to get access to my own indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, then you have to send me here a private message in order to get access because a small donation is needed. Otherwise, you can also just get your YouTube membership like this. You also have free access to the trading chat indicator. And if you're completely new in the crypto space and you want to buy some cryptos, then make sure that you have an account open up with my referral links down below here because they will give you some extra money on your first purchase. For example, on Swiss Borg, you can get up to 100 euro extra money with your first purchase and also check out Coinbase and Binance. Those two exchanges are very great to buy all kinds of cryptos. On Coinbase, we also have this Coinbase Earn program where you can easily just claim some free altcoins only by watching a small movie. So make sure to claim those free altcoins over on Coinbase Earn and also take advantage of these savings programs that we have here on Binance because a lot of people are always asking me what are the conditions to be able to get interest on your cryptos over on Binance. You can just easily go here to earn and then the cryptos that you have here on Binance, you can just easily put it here on your savings account and you will get paid daily with interest. Almost all coins are supported here and you can also get it back at any time. So if you go here to products, you can see that you have this flexible savings. So whatever coin you want, you can just transfer it here to your savings account. And as you can see, you will get paid daily with interest. So this interest, of course, are annually, but you will get paid day by day. And whenever you want to take this money off from here, then you just go back to the earn page. And then here where it says operation, you can just easily redeem it and you have it back into your fiat and spot wallet. So definitely take advantage of this free money that you can get here 
passively without doing anything. You can even do here a locked saving for some stable coins or sometimes also for some cryptos where you can then lock it for, for example, seven days up to 90 days and then you get a bit more of interest. But usually I'm just taking advantage of these flexible savings because whenever I need the cryptos or stable coins, I can just easily redeem it here at the same day and I have it instantly back. And this is not the same like landing or anything risky like that. This is really just from Binance, this interest that you can get by just keeping your cryptos here. And as you can see, I have on all these coins activated that automatically as soon as I have one of those coins, it goes into my savings account. As you can see here, those are all the coins that I have currently here on Binance where I get some interest. Even here, Dogecoin I have and I get five percent yearly interest so definitely check out this nice feature here on Binance of course you can also do other stuff here for example you can trade also futures here so on Binance you can do really everything you can even buy cryptos directly from your credit card or from your bank account and you can also withdraw money into your bank account from Binance so here you have everything in one exchange so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye!